Hey Yellow Portal here. Today with a new review for you. This time of the iPhone 4. Apple's new iPhone. Um, right now this is pretty late to be doing an iPhone review. As it's been nearly one year since this came out. This is the 32 gigabytes model. And um, this can go the GSM version is on well, most GSM carriers, and uh, the CDMA version, from what I know, is on Verizon. So this is AT&T and Verizon. There is also a white version of this phone, which I think looks pretty cool. But I wanted to keep the classic that most people would get for this review. All right, so let's start by the exterior and the front of the phone. This is a very beautiful phone. As you can see here, right, so front facing camera, speaker, beautiful retina LCD display, your home button on the bottom, speaker grill, uh, yeah, speaker, speaker, your 30 pin propri proprietary con connector or something, yeah, I think it's that. And uh, here you got your volume rocker, as you can see now it's two separate buttons. Got your silence button. As you can see, the phone just trembled, vibrated. I mean, sorry. 3.5 millimeter headset jack, antenna, antenna. Your um, power off and a lock button. On the side, you got your SIM tray right there. And uh, well, uh, as you can see, this is a steel frame that holds. It all round on you got your back your class so LED flash first time on an iPhone cam a five megapixel camera which can also shoot 720p video oh and then you can see me right there Apple logo iPhone does not say 32 gigabytes or 80, 80 64 gigabytes or anything for the first time who says iPhone. And, um, well, um, let's get to iOS. So this new device ships with iOS 4.1. As you can see, this is my friend Lucas's. So um, thank you very much, Lucas, for this review. I've been waiting to do this for a long time. As you can see, phone a little bit personalized. But anyway, so first thing we're going to want to see, the 5 megapixel camera. As you can see, I have the option for flash, which is auto and I'm just gonna turn it off as you can see much better than um the iPhone 3GS camera and uh, you got your front facing camera right oh sh right there as you can see you guys can't see my face ha 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 losers okay so um all right so that was the front facing camera and speaking about front fa facing cameras let's check out FaceTime if I can find it um, apparently FaceTime for some awkward reason is not on this device if someone can explain to me why I would be very grateful actually no you know what I'm gonna do Face time. No, no FaceTime on here. Just Facebook. Point old Facebook. If not, what does? What is new with this iOS? Game Center is new. Your um, folders are new. This is in Flemish, so I'm sorry about that. And um, well, the dock looks better. Here is a closer look at that beautiful. Retina the display. As you can see, really good compared to the old iPhone. Go check out those Retina displays comparisons. Um, the battery life has been extended on this device, and um, the only issues people have been reporting at the start is um, the antenna issues. 
Because when you hold it like this, right now my sim is locked, but your service goes down. Because you're blocking this. So that was a big problem for most people. I think Apple fixed it. I'm not sure. But this is definitely much better quality phone. Um, we're, if you're not really a big smartphone user, it's still worth buying this over the uh, iPhone 3GS. You can get one on second hand, I don't know, for, I don't know, um, $400, something like that. Well, um, or a 300 something like that, or $50 for an iPhone 3GS. But this is definitely worth it compared to an iPhone 3GS. And I think it's one of the best devices from Apple. Well, the best, pretty much. We'll have to see with the iPhone 5. And I forgot to say one thing. Main concurrence, the Samsung Galaxy S. Let me see if I can get an image of that for you quickly. While I'm doing that, well, well, I guess you'll just have to wait. I'm really sorry. Da -da 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 -da, new page. Um, Samsung. I'm back. Samsung Galaxy S2. And um, well, out of um, ten, I would personally give this device. I don't know, a nine and a half, because, I mean, it's near perfection of the standards of technology that we have today. So here's a better look at its concurrence, which is um, a little bit um more, oh, well, here we go. Samsung Galaxy S2, very slim device, running Android. But anyway, we're, we're, let's not get into a review of this, so... 9.5 out of 10 for this phone as it is so perfect. Thank you for watching this review. Until Porto, see you next time. Bye.